Hello there, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Quake Dissolution of Eternity on Nightmare. This is R1M1 Deviance Domain. And welcome, welcome one and all, to the next expansion in the Quake timeline, Dissolution of Eternity. So, this expansion, there's not quite as many maps as Scourge of Armagon. Hello, don't go down there, please. Um, there's only 15 maps as opposed to what I think it was like 17 or 18 for Scourge of Armagon. There's also no secret maps in this expansion, and there's also only two episodes instead of three. Um, however, unlike Scourge of Armagon, you actually do have an episode selection part of this introduction map. Which in Scourge of Armagon you didn't have. You just went straight from one episode to the next. So, also just like the previous uh, game and expansions, you have a difficulty selection map. Now, if you choose hard, be careful because it's going to trigger an earthquake. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they did that. So, we're not going to do that. We're going to go easy. And then you have your episodes right here. Hell's Fortress, which is episode one. And the Corridors of Time, which is episode two. So yeah, once you finish one episode, you come back here. Then you go into the slipgate that leads to the other episode. But before we do that, yeah, we have a little something we got to handle first. So to unlock Nightmare difficulty in this expansion, you have to shoot three buttons. Two of which are across from the halls leading to the episodes. And then the last one is behind where you're destination pad is right behind that teleporter you can probably kind of see it see and then this becomes an elevator and the word nightmare is written on the side of the elevator and there we go nightmare skill all right difficulties out the way hell's fortress here we go and deviance domain here we are 51 kills and 4 secrets. Now one thing I will say about this expansion, it is... I would say more difficult as a whole. Um, there are definitely some spots, even in the early maps, where you can be caught sleeping and potentially die because of it. You're already going to see some fairly high level enemies, such as Hell Knights. And you will also be introduced to your first new enemy. Potentially. So... In this expansion, instead of having new weapons, you have ammo types. And you have enemies that can be wielding these new ammo types. I don't think uh, either of these guys are using those. Whoa, hello. Mr. Ogre, I don't have any armor yet. Please don't grenade my face. I'll be forced to take action. See, I took action. So for right now... Oh, they in fighting? Oh, he just killed them. There we go. Yeah, for right now, we're just going to stay in this opening area. Take care of the Hell Knights and Ogres that charge at us. And you're going to pick up plenty of uh, shells, so don't worry about using a lot of them here. Anything is better than taking on one of those guys up close with no armor. Because that sword of theirs will cut you down to size. There we go. Okay, secret number one of four. Oh, right, Scrags. Go ahead and take care of the Scraggies. There we go. All right, secret number one. Now, notice in this expansion, you can't see through the slime. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult to dive in. But just dive into the slime, straight down, get the bio suit, and a big box of shells and rockets and some health. With a big box of nails just over here. And more health if you need it. But I do think this is the only bio suit you get, so... Yeah, don't dive into there more times than you have to. Alright, gonna go through this door. Yep, we have a knight waiting for us down here. With a nice little box of shells. And secret number two. Step off this elevator and fall down below it. For a double-barreled shotgun, more shells, and armor. I think we are officially ready to rumble now. And I'm going backwards. So now we can finally advance. I think we've killed everyone up here. Except for that guy.
We'll just make short work of him. All right. Go ahead and go down this elevator here. Watch out for the knight. And that ogre, I don't think he can... Yeah, he can't shoot us from there. So we'll just take care of him. Slowly and easily. And there is actually a scrag waiting for us right there. That is also a nail trap. Be careful. It does fire pretty quickly. And I am not going to repeat the same mistake I made in Limbo and be trapped by one of those stupid things again. I refuse. <clears throat> Which probably just heard some enemies spawn in. Yep, we have a Hell Knight. Hmm. This should be a pretty good angle to face him. Oh, nice angling. Now, how can Hell Knights aim up and down, but Ogres can't? Especially when the Ogres have an actual, like, firearm. Hell Knights just fire projectiles out of their swords. It's weird. Alright, go ahead and take care of him. Grab those shells. Press this button to open this door. Okay, watch out for these little... I guess those are spikes. As long as you keep to the wall, they can't hurt you. And I don't think they will instantly squish you, but I don't remember, and I'd rather not test it. Go ahead through here. We're going to have another Hell Knight. Let's run past the trap, or not. Where is he? Oh, he dropped down. That's fine. Makes things simple for me. Let's see if I can get him to reveal himself. Come on. There we go. Okay, now. Be careful. When you press that switch, this bridge will drop, allowing you to get the silver key. But both of these doors will open, and they both contain enemies. It is an ogre. Oh, and there's a knight up there. Go ahead and deal with him. There's an ogre in one, and a hell knight in the other. Ooh, 69 health. Nice. Can't spoil that. Ideally, I would like to get these guys to end fight. Oh, did he just... Oh, he's not gonna... Well... Oh, hey, look at that. We have a new enemy. And I almost just took a face full of his multi-grenades. Yes. So that is the multi-grenade ogre. They wear a different outfit than their ordinary ogre cousins. They have a slightly different looking menacing smile. And yes, they shoot grenades that once they land will split off into like a little cluster bomb of grenades. Or rockets, I should say. Nothing in this game is called grenades. And uh, those things can hurt very badly. Fortunately, once you find a multi-grenade launcher, you'll be able to use them. And let me tell you, they are quite useful. But before that, secret number three, dive back down to the slime, get the bio suit, surface through here. Ooh, lava nails. Now look at that, there, there's one of your new ammo types right there. So lava nails are essentially just more powerful versions of nails. And let me tell you, a super nail gun armed with lava nails is an absolute force. So treat these babies like they are gold. Alright, we have a docked boat over here with a scrag guarding it. And yeah, we're about to go through a somewhat tricky part. Nothing too bad. You want to get your lava nails ready. We're going to take a little boat ride through the acid. Now there's going to be hell knights and ogres above you. What I like to do is ignore the Hell Knights and take care of the Ogres first. They wield much more dangerous weaponry at a distance. Those guys, I mean, they can damage you, but they won't do a whole lot of damage, so... Go inside the Silver Key Door quickly. Take out the one Hell Knight in here. And I'm using the Lava Nails mainly because I don't have a whole lot of space to do otherwise. I'd rather take out the Hell Knights and Ogres as quickly as I can. Shooting that button will trigger that bridge. And I believe it's just... Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, and I got an Ogre out here, too. That's a multi-grenade Ogre. Whoa! Let's fall down here. Okay, he's fighting a Hell Knight, but he's almost dead. Just go ahead and take care of him. Yeah, this is a fairly hairy map for being the first one. 
And we have just one more lowly Hell Knight over there. Just go ahead and pepper him with some shells and nails. And take a hit, because why not? Jump over here for some armor and health, and continue on. Alright. Oh yes, another boat ride. And I think there is a knight, or a hell knight, guarding it. Hell knight. And to swap between your ammo types, you simply just press the weapon key again, or just use your scroll wheel. Depending on how much time I have to react, I like to use the scroll wheel. Alright, so we have more ogres up there. Now, um, as far as which ogres will be multi-grenade ogres, according to the Quake Wiki, it's all up to RNG. Sometimes ogres will be turned into multi-grenade ogres, sometimes they won't. But I don't think there's ever any spawn points where you will specifically see one or the other. I think, technically, any ogre in any map has a chance of being a multi-grenade ogre. One thing I will say, fortunately, there is no enemy that uses lava nails against you, so that's real nice. But, same thing here. Take care of that scrag ahead before he bugs me too much. And there we go. Okay. Oh, no boat. Don't leave me. Alright, go through this door. There's going to be another ogre and a knight and a hell knight. Just try not to panic. And keep in mind that stuff below you is just acid, not lava. So it will hurt you, just not by a lot, so long as you don't stay in it too long. There we go. And secret number four is in here as well. Uh, how do you trigger this secret? It's a but. Oh, yeah. This button. And we unlock a new item. So this item is called the Power Shield. And essentially, it's like a pentagram of protection light. What it does is it absorbs 70% of the damage that is dealt to you from the front. So any damage done to you from the side or behind you doesn't get absorbed. It's kind of strange in the way it works, but it works. Works well enough. We shouldn't really be having to use it here, but if we have to, we will. And down this staircase, we have an ogre on one side. Who will not be able to reach us. And a knight on the other. But be careful. Killing both of them. Whoa, good. Ooh, thank you, power shield. Yeah, you'll summon a Hell Knight behind you. Probably could have gotten back here to telefrag him, but that's okay. And there's another Hell Knight just in front of us. Go ahead and take care of him. And let's see, we have to open these bars, but there is a Scrag up there who may come down towards us. I see you up there, floating. Try to sneak past me. I think there's one in here, too. There's knights, I know. I think a hell knight, too. Yep. Fortunately, the hell knight's pathfinding isn't really that smart. As you can see. Go ahead and grab this big box of nails down here. Okay, there's going to be five kills left. The last four are going to be inside the exit. And go through here. Oh, yeah, him. Go ahead and take care of him. Now, that that thing may actually kill you if it hits you. I probably just got lucky there, but whatever. Go back here to the very beginning, and the bridge across to the castle has been extended. And yes, that is actually the exit. We just got a few more bad guys to deal with. And that's it. We are done. Uh, nothing else really to pick up. There's a shortcut back to the first boat ride if you really got to go there. Get some lava nails and standard nails and get on out. And that is Deviant's Domain, the first map of Dissolution of Eternity. And yeah, this is not exactly the easiest of first maps out there. I mean, you're already seeing a fair number of Hell Knights. You get your first taste of the multi-grenade ogre. Those boat rides can be a little nasty if you don't take care of the ogres first because at the height they're at and at the angling they're at, they can hit you with some of those grenades and that will really hurt. Um, but it's a really nice map. In fact, I don't think there is a single map in this expansion that I, like, legitimately dislike. As far as map design goes overall, I much prefer this expansion over Scourge of Armagon. Not that Scourge of Armagon's bad, but the map design in this is just vastly improved. Especially in the second episode, 
you'll see just how unique it looks. But the majority of maps in this chapter, considering the episode is called Hell's Fortress, are going to be very fortress themed. Lots of castles and a good bit of verticality and all that kind of good stuff. But yes, that is the first map of Dissolution of Eternity. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in map two. Bye-bye. <laughs>